Hi, right, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Shala Adil. I uh, just want to take about uh, about ten minutes to uh, show you something very cool that I discovered on Microsoft uh, Azure. Now, this uh, is a problem statement. Now, I have this app. Uh, it's been on the market for about three, four years now, uh, doing quite well on the UK App Store, and. I've got this requirement to be able to uh, receive bug report and feedback from the users in a very timely and uh, reliable uh, manner. So that uh, led me to the discovery of um, a certain feature uh, being offered in Microsoft, Microsoft Azure. And by the way, if you're a Microsoft developer, Microsoft Azure is almost uh, totally free for you, almost next to nothing if you're not using too much of bandwidth. So I'm going to go through this and hopefully we'll be done uh, within 10 minutes. Now, the requirement is this. I want to be able to capture a name, um, a name for the user who is uh, reporting the bug or leaving a feedback, an email address that we can, um, that I can reach them on, and as well as a description either of the bug or a feedback so we essentially we have a, a requirement to capture three fields from each of these uh, two sections of the app and get this information um, across to me on the go in a very timely and dependable manner so that's where Microsoft um, Azure comes in now I'll go over to uh, my Azure portal portal.azure.com and the first thing I'm going to do is to create what we call a logic a logic app now a logic app is a, is a service is a feature in Azure that allows you to uh, do things create uh, logical blocks of uh, triggers and actions and we're gonna see how this works so let's call this um, feedback feedback logic that's what we're gonna call it and um, I'll use um, an existing resource group uh, let me look for a resource group I could use uh, let me try SQL West Europe yeah and create there you go feedback logic so so while that is chugging away oh, okay I think it's pretty much done the next thing we're going to try to do uh, is to build a JSON file, a JSON uh, string uh, that we're going to be sending over. Uh, we're going to be sending over to uh, the Logic app, so it will be able to do some magical things for us. And we're looking to do a post request. Now, this post request uh, will uh, to be possible for this same post request to be sent. In from the app to the logical app, so uh, to the from my iPhone app to the logical app on Microsoft Azure. But we're going to use Postman uh, for this demo. So on Postman, we're looking to send out a post, and uh, in the body, we're going to have a raw, and we're going to have um, uh, a JSON format. So we're going to try to build um, a JSON string. So we need uh, a name for whoever is um, sending this feedback. So let me put a sample, that's my name, inshallah adio. And then we need an email address, an email address, and that is adio. So that's my email address if uh, you want to get in touch with me. And then we need um, a message. Uh, let's call it message content. And uh, hopefully it's a very nice feedback. I want to tell you that I love your app so much. So very simple JSON uh, body. So this is what uh, the iPhone app 
is going to be sending through to Microsoft Azure, but we're going to use uh, Postman for this demo. And if it can happen in Postman, it can happen uh, from the app. So that's not a problem. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, pop into uh, JSONSchema.net and uh, whack the JSON string here and then generate a schema. So this is a schema that I've generated now. And I can just copy this schema and go over to uh, my new logic app. Logic app. And yeah, we created it just now, feedback logic. That's what we call it. So here, we're going to go for a blank logic app. And then the first thing we're going to do is a, a request. We're going to make this logic app behave as though it's a uh, it's a web API. So we're going to start by calling it um, request, and that's the JSON body schema there. And the next thing we're going to do is to add an action. So after adding this request, there are two actions I want to add for the purpose of this demo. The first action is a response because we want to be able to respond to whoever is sending this JSON to us to let them know that we this JSON arrived um, this JSON arrived um, safely so let's write um, arrived safely and then with the status code of 200 and then we had a new another action and this is the cool bit which is a send email because um, there's no point uh, the service uh, validating that it arrived okay without me even getting to know about it so uh, we're going to be sending in uh, an email uh, okay let's send an office 365 email so imagine that my support email is odusola audio at hotmail mail dot com and then the subject uh, of the mail will be like, you can call this message from whoever the person is. And the body of the email, we can write um, uh, e mail address. And then we'll put this here. This is coming from the JSON. And then message content uh, gonna be very quick yep so so we're ready to we're ready to go and then we save this so that's our logic app done and ready to run so let's shift this over here and then we're gonna be we're gonna keep an eye on this now how are we gonna trigger this app from postman I'll show you what we're going to do now, which is, so as we do an overview here, we are, yeah, there is a URL, yeah, this is it. This URL is the URL of the Logic app, and we're just going to take that straight into Postman, and that becomes the URL of the Web API. Uh, that we're going to be calling. So we're ready to rumble. Web API URL is there. The JSON is there. JSON application. And we click the send button. Ooh. Let's see if something has gone wrong. Is required API version query parameter is required okay let's see so this is the url we're doing a post of uh, the body is here and we don't need an authorization so let's see if the call got through to the api overview Oh, it didn't even get there. All right, so let's do an edit. Let's do a request here. And let's just copy the URL again. Copy. 
then go to the postman put it right there Ooh, see arrived safely that's our result so we sent this body there and the the uh, logic app has told us that it arrived the message arrived safely now let's read the logs let's read the logs and see what happened exactly so here let's do a refresh so you see it ran for 1 minute 40, 47 seconds and if you click on it it tells us that the request arrived safely in the logic app so this email address the message content and the name and then the response it sent us a status 200 back arrived safely and then also it sent an email to olusola underscore audio at hotmail.com so let's have a look at my email and see if we got it back so let's do okay that's it 1856 see 1858 up here 1856 so on the email you can see email address lucilla.adio at logion.co.uk message content i want to tell you that i love your app so much so if you go back you can see uh, it's all here the body of the email email address my email address the message content I want to tell you that I love your app so much so in 12 minutes less than 12 minutes we've been able to set up a very um, a very dependable uh, logic app that can get information across all the way from the iPhone app uh, into my email and 